To emulate old vintage radio voice within Adobe Audition, you'll have to double click on your audio sample. You're gonna go to effects and you're gonna look for filter and EQ and you're gonna choose parametric equalizer. Now we're gonna go to presets right here and you're gonna look for all time radios, already have it checked, but for you, you'll have to check it. And this will do the majority of work for you. So I'll play the original audio and then I'll apply the equalizer to see, to see what's the difference. Right, so this is a sample order that we are going to use to emulate an old vintage radio voice within Adobe Audition. Right, so we're going to click apply. And uh, this, this, this could be it, but if you want to add a little bit of extra, you're going to want to save this audio recording. So we're going to do just that, and we're going to go to multi-track. Uh, we'll name it project and you're gonna go and click the right mouse button and insert the audio track that you've just been working with now if you go to youtube library in 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 youtube studio you can for free download this uh audio effect so I'll just go ahead and choose it it's called Radio Static, so anyone can do that. It's free, it's royalty free, so we can use it in any kind of a project. And it's just a little bit of Radio Static, Radio Crackle, so that will give the you know extra, extra effect on top of what we have already, and we can play this whole thing now. Right, so this is a sample order that we are going to use to emulate an old vintage radio voice within Adobe Audition. And that's it. That's quite easy way to make a audio sound like a vintage radio recording.